math people and welcome to your final lesson or one of your final lessons in our 3D geometry unit. Uh, so far in 3D geometry we have covered surface area. Surface area as you know talks about the outside surfaces of any three-dimensional shape. But now we're going to be diving into these three-dimensional shapes and talking about volume. So without further ado here is our quick lesson on volume. Volume of prisms. So first off, what is volume? You could define volume a couple different ways, and you might have already done this in science class this year, in where you talked about volume is the amount of space inside of an object, how much stuff you can put inside of a, of a three-dimensional figure. You might have done this with filling a figure with water, and doing water displacement. Um, but volume is the inside of the shape and how much space it takes up. We are looking at the volume of prisms not of pyramids, so only for prisms. How do you find the volume of any prism? What I hope is you do not say length times width times height. While this is good, and this is you connecting to other things you've learned, possibly something in fifth grade or something in science this year, this is not the formula to find the volume of any prism. That is how you find the volume of a specific type of prism, a rectangular prism. But the, what, the formula that you can use to find the volume of any prism, triangular prism, rectangular prism, trapezoidal prism, hexagonal prism, any prism, volume equals capital B times H. What does this mean? The capital B in this formula stands for the area of the base shape. So for example, if we were talking about a triangular prism and we wanted to find the volume of the triangular prism, the first step is to find the area of the base shape. And in a triangular prism, it's called a triangular prism because the base is a triangle. So we would first find the area of one of the triangle bases, step one. Step two is to multiply it by this lowercase h. In the volume formula, lowercase h represents the height of the prism itself. And let's define this a little bit further. I know I'm writing a lot. It's kind of going all over the place. But the height of a prism is the distance between the two bases. And let's visualize all of this right now. Right here we've got a couple different prisms, and I'm going to first, actually I'm going to cover this back up. Let's focus just on this one for right now. This is a rectangular prism. To find the volume of this rectangular prism, I need to do the area of the base, that's capital B. So I've highlighted that in red and I'm tracing it in black now. If I call this the base, I need to find its area. How do you find the area of a rectangle? Length times width. That's step one. I will then take that area and multiply it by the height. And when I talk about height, I mean the height of the prism. If this side is the base, the height is the distance from this base all the way across to the other side that's also a base and that's this distance here. So this got a little messy. The height runs from one base to the other. That would make this distance the height. This will be a lot easier, I think, when we do an example together. So we're gonna jump into one right now. We're looking at this green rectangular prism and we're trying to find the volume. The volume is the area of the base times the height of the prism. In a rectangular prism, technically, any of the sides can be called the base. 
So you might call the base this shape on the bottom, this six by eight rectangle. Another person in class might say, eh, I'm gonna call this side the base. It doesn't matter. On a rectangular prism, any of the sides can be considered the base. I'm gonna go with the shape that's on the bottom. Big B, capital B, is the area of the base, which is for a rectangle, length times width, which for this specific rectangle is six times eight, which is 48. That needs to get multiplied by the height of the prism. The height of the prism goes from one base all the way up to the other base, which would be this distance, which is 15. And so to finish this problem, I'm going to multiply 48 by 15. Now you'll notice that on the screen, we've got length times width times height written out. And that's how you find the volume of a rectangular prism. That's where this formula, length times width times height, that's where that comes from. Area of the base times the height. To finish this, the volume would be 720, and the label should be yards cubed, because we did six yards times eight yards times 15 yards, yards times yards times yards. So that's where yards cubed comes from as the label when we're talking about volume. And that means there are 700 cubic yards of space inside of this green rectangular prism. All right, um, let's look at one more. This is one, I'll, I'll say pull out a calculator and try it on your own. I want you to find the volume, here's your formula, and then you can type in your answer and then come back and see how you did. All right, hopefully you chose one of the sides as your base. I'm choosing this bottom side as a base of so 7 eighths times 1 half, which is 7 sixteenths times the height. The height goes from base to base, which is times 5 eighths. So I'm keeping everything as fractions. If you're using a calculator, then you could have just had the calculator do all of this for you, but 35 over 128 meters cubed would be your final answer. And hopefully that's what you got. All right, the last example, and then this video will be ending, is a different type of prism. The first two were rectangular. The last one we're gonna do is a triangular prism. Now, volume of any prism is capital B times H, where capital B represents the area of the base shape. In a triangular prism, remember prisms are named by the shape of their base. That means the base is a triangle. And so I'm just gonna actually redraw just the base. The base is the triangle, which has 5.5 and two as its dimensions. How do you find the area of a triangle? You do base times height times one half or divided by two. So the base of the triangle is 5.5, the height is 2, and you multiply that by 1 half. Um, first step would be to compute this amount, which is 5.5. Second step is then multiply that by the height of the actual prism. Height runs from one base to the other base, so the base that's in the back there. What's the distance that connects those two bases? That would be this distance right here. That goes from one base to the other, and that's four. So this would be times four. And then my final volume will be 22 inches cubed, cubic inches. Ooh. So we're going to do it a lot more practice with this, particularly with shapes that are not rectangular in nature. Rectangular prisms are a bit easy. You've done them in the past. Um, so we're going to build and find the volume of all types of prisms, triangular. You might even do some that are trapezoids or um, even 
we'll see. We'll see what examples we do in class. But for now, you should have an idea of the formula for the volume of any prism is to multiply the area of the base shape times the height of the prism itself. And we'll do this more in class. If you have any questions, feel free to type them in now. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. Later.